Welcome back to the Wet Mammal Channel with another episode of Spearfishing Raw. Today we're diving off a bommy in Fiji and this was wicked ground. As you can see there's heaps of bait buzzing around this bommy. They're quick moving, they're reactive. This means that there's large predators by that have been smashing them and eating them. Great for us. I make my way down to the base of the bommy and just pretty much drift dive down. Not putting in too much effort. Have a little look around behind me, see if a Mackie's coming in or something like that. And uh, yeah, it's a bit sharky here, but luckily nothing seems to come in as of yet. I see these two bluefin coming in pretty much towards me. They turn to their side, so I look away from them slightly, get them to turn back around, get interested, line up a shot. Boom. He's not going to cause me any trouble. So I'm taking him up to the surface at this stage, just ensuring with a bit of line management that he's not going to run into the reef. Take him up. I think that shot was at about maybe like 18, 20 meters, something like that. Now, I was really surprised that on this dive, I didn't have any gray reef sharks come in because of every bommie before that, we were pestered. Michael from Immersion's on the surface, watching over me the entire dive, making sure that everything's okay and he could do a buddy assist dive if needed. You can see this fish has got no real control over what it's doing. So let's bring this puppy up and check out the colours. The bluefin trevally have definitely got to be one of the best looking fish in the water. They are absolutely stunning. The electric blues and the contrast of the greeny yellows, they're beautiful fish. Even though this fish was pretty much lights out when I shot it and I completely disabled it, still icky the fish. You never know what can happen. I've shot a fish dead in the head and stoned it and it didn't move for about five minutes and I had it on my float line and suddenly it tried swimming away because I didn't icky it because I thought that the brain shot had brained it completely. All right, always immobilize your fish and do the double tap, get your icky. How are the colors in this fish? So I'm using the most inefficient way to get your line out of the fish, <laughs> one-handed pull. Um, yeah, it's gonna keep dropping down, not great. I eventually managed to tangle my spear through and pull the spear free from the fish. You can see a slight little sore on the fish. And that's quite interesting. I haven't actually seen that on a Trevally before, but it, there was one on this guy's left-hand side. So now I'm just showing it off, catching beautiful light, enjoying myself. I'm stoked. Got a beautiful fish. And uh, if you haven't had Trevally, bluefin Trevally sashimi, you need to give it a shot. It's amazing. How's this little remora coming to check out the fish before I chuck him on the boat? That's it for another episode of Spearfish and Raw. I hope you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. Catch ya.